Assalamualaikum and hi guys. I am Muhammad Irfan. I'm a second year, second semester NCOM student. And today I'm going to answer a few questions from the office of NCOM KLMSS. We have a lot of tasks coming in and sometimes um, we don't know how to handle them. However, for me, I have used this bullet journal and also planner technique so basically you just need a book or maybe you can even do it in your laptop and you need to list down all of your tasks arranging it from the things that you need to do first and the thing that you need to do like later so i'm going to show you how my bullet journal looks like it's very simple you don't need to do doesn't need to be that perfect so this is my planner in March so this is like the cover and this is the um, mini calendar of March and this is yeah this is the calendar for March and as you can see I write my task here in these little boxes and then I also divided them into weeks so in each day I have to I need to do this task this task yeah and such and then this is for like my subjects so as you can see like I have seven subjects this semester and this is for my smart class so I also put what I need to do in that subject for example for syntax I need to study grammar and then for ethnic I need to study for the quiz yeah so basically you just need to do like boxes and write down the tasks that you need to do for the subject or for the week yeah I think what really helps me the most to stay organized with all of my tasks is my bullet journal slash planner so I think if you guys have these problems in how to organize your daily routine and tasks I really recommend you to start planning yeah I think this thing is very simple and everyone can do uh, the first thing that I've done is that I mute all of my notifications from my phone and this has been very helpful because before this my whatsapp always pop up with these many notifications and I get distracted a lot of time however after I muted all of my notifications that I'm not distracted anymore with my phone and also the second is that I deleted most of my social medias in my phone too for example I only have whatsapp and telegram and also youtube in my phone so all of those instagram and other social media platforms if I want to access them I need to open my laptop so if I'm opening my laptop, I'm directly doing my work. Meaning that after I've done my work, then I can use Instagram and other social media. So I think these two steps are very helpful for you if you don't want to get that distracted with your gadgets. Basically, like what I've said before, what really helps me the most is my planner. Um, but other than that, of course, my personal life comes first meaning that if I have any trouble or if I want to do something, I will do that thing first You get what I mean? And then, um, you always need to remember that your study and academic comes first before your co-curriculum So make sure that you focus more on your studies rather than your co-curriculum that's from my point of view. So I've been dealing with stress during, I think it was last semester because, you know, that one time when all of the assignments came in and you need to submit a lot of them on that week. So what I do is that I'll just close my laptop and then just forget about everything about university, about academic, and then only focus on the things that I want to do for example, um, because when I'm stressed, I mainly don't want to do any stuff related with technology or gadgets or screens. So sometimes, most of the times, I will do art because I like to color stuff 
and also draw stuff. Um, it's because that color is calming for me when I'm coloring something. Yeah, so that's basically how I manage my stress by just coloring and drawing anything that I want. Well, for me, um, I'm basically the person that likes to finish all of the work first and then rest later. However, in between those work, I make sure that I have my rest time. For example, I always rest between Margaret and Isha and also before 10 a.m. So the rest of that time is the time that I will do my work or go to class for study and such. So, um, well, first of all, I like reading books. As you can see from my bookshelf, I have some books that I like to read. So these are my books that I read. So I mostly have a lot of Diary of Wimpy Kid collection. And then I also have Stephen King's. I like to read horror books. And up here, have Crazy Rich Agents and also Kevin Kwan's books. Hunger Games. So I have this Japan book. The Traveling Cat Chronicles. And the K-pop book. Yeah. And also Star Wars book. It's because that book is like a place where I can escape. And I don't know, nowadays I'm not interested in all of those TV shows, drama and Netflix because they're sort of cliche, so that is why I opt for books. And books are a perfect way for you to escape from the real world. You know, that you can imagine inside your head and such. And then for my second hobby is that I like to draw, paint. And my third hobby is vlogging, which means video plus blogging. Which leads us to the next question, which is... For reading and coloring stuff, as I mentioned before, however, for vlogging, it's very interesting because it all started after I finished my SPM. So back then, after SPM, I flew a lot between Terengganu and Selangor. Terengganu is my um, place where I live back then. So this one day, I was at KLIA, I want to go back to Terengganu. I was in the airport and I was scrolling my Instagram and then I saw my teacher's Instagram story. So she was at the airport too and I found out that we we're both flying back to Terengganu so we, so we met at the terminal. So while we were there, she was also with her um, colleagues. She was back from this, I don't know, this meeting where English teachers and academicians discuss about the English education, I think. So my teacher told this one lecture from UMD that I'm entering my English major, which is English for International Communication. And she gave an advice for me saying that I should open a YouTube account. Weird, right? She said to me that um, if I want to improve my English before going into university, I can open a YouTube account and then start doing video, you know, just talking in front of a camera because she said that it will improve my communication skill and also improve my presentation skill because I won't be afraid anymore talking in front of a crowd. That was very helpful for me because she was right. So you can imagine me talking in front of a camera and sometimes I also talk in front of a camera in public areas, for example, at shopping malls or like across the street. It's very helpful for me because you can imagine many people looking at you with these weird faces. So it really helps me to boost my confidence skill and also be brave in front of a crowd. And by doing vlogging, it also helps me with my editing skills, my videography skills. And then I also got to learn other stuff because most of my videos also got attention. Um, there is one video where I explain English majors and then I've got a lot of questions from other students, for example, other SPM leavers that don't know where to go if they want to do English majors. 
and they always come messaging me which I'm very pleased to hear and also international students also message me saying that they want to apply to IAUM and asking me for help and you know those things also enhance my knowledge on the English majors and also like international students admission and such so yeah this hobby which is vlogging has very helped me throughout my life so I think I haven't feel pressure at all so for me I'm not that kind of person that will feel pressured to maintain my grades sometimes because I've lived with Mufti Ming's um, quote saying that um, if you want you know like going to classes every day and also education and stuff basically it starts with your niat so if you have a good intention inshallah Allah will help you along the way and also Allah will look at your efforts so if you give your best you know your 100% then inshallah you might get a good result however if you don't you will feel happy too because you know that you've done your best in your education and also in your assignment and such yeah so i i don't feel pressure at all because mostly when i'm in class or doing my assignment my objective my objective is to gain a lot of knowledge as possible that's why I like to read materials that lectures give us because I can get a lot of knowledge from that and also from doing assignment and all I give my 100% best the answer is no I don't feel pressure to have good results every semester and I don't I never feel mentally affected by it and yeah so if you guys are feeling pressure about this just remember that um, when you're doing something you need to give your 100% best and if it's not that outcome that you want then just remember that you did your best and you need to be proud of it yeah no because um, I don't share my results with my friends and my friends also don't share results with me we don't share results to each other because we understand each other so yeah, um, I don't feel different or awkward at all so to answer the question um, I think no I'm not doing this to fulfill my parents expectations because as I said before I'm not the one that kind of stress out to maintain the grade um, maybe the purpose of my success is first because um, like I said before I'm the kind of person that is hardworking and will give all of my best in doing that task so that success maybe is the gift from Allah because of my effort so from my opinion it's just like that I'm not trying to impress anyone not my parents not myself it's just that I like to work hard on something to achieve and get something that is the best yeah. So that is all for my interview session for today. I would like to say thank you to Office of Encom for offering me this chance and to all the viewers out there I would like to say when there is something make sure you do your best have a good intention in it and also after you have completed it acknowledge that you have done everything you have and you already did your best and whatever the result the outcome um, just be grateful with your efforts. So thank you and goodbye.